Okay, don't do it if you're not comfortable. Yeah. Okay, let's see you climb down the same way. Or not. Nice! nice. That scared me, but nice. Oh, it's not that high. <laughs> I thought it was high. One more time. Uh -huh. So cute. Hey! Yeah. Toad running. We have to be careful not to disturb running. nature. Frog running. Freak, so hard okay, guys, just don't land on him. Yeah. We're good. Just don't land on him and we're good. Really? Yeah. Yeah, dude. First time doing it outdoors, huh? Yeah. yeah. Good job. Thank you, too. Thank you, Shree. Thank you, Shree. Billy, can you please explain to us what's the difference between, or what, how are they related, parkour and freerunning? Well, the main difference between parkour and freerunning, um, parkour is basically about getting from point A to point B, more about efficient movement, whereas freerunning is more about being more self-expressive. Creative movement is actually the key in freerunning. Um, and I think parkour is the foundation for freerunning, because you actually develop and condition your body before you start doing free running, you know, so you don't hurt yourself. And Nico here will demonstrate free running. All right. When you are ready, go for it. And I'm going to demonstrate it too. So basically, free running is more about flips and show off ish kind of stuff. Be creative. Before we leave our training spot, can you tell us what we're doing? Um, we are following um, an international motto, um, it's called Leave No Trace Behind. Um, Parker practitioners, wherever they train, they try to keep it clean as much as possible. Keep it cleaner than when you arrived, just like what Nico's doing right here. Good job, handsome boy. Okay. What do you think is easier, parkour or picking up trash? Oh, yeah, that's not a trash. That's a snake skin. Snake skin. Dude, this is big. Wow. We need to get rid of this in Guam. But what do you have to say? What, what can you tell to our youngsters today? We're vandalizing property and, you know, making Guam look ugly. Guys and girls. Please stop the graffiti. We want to keep our island beautiful as much as possible. That's what our island is known for. Yes. The simple and beautifulness. Natural beauty. Of an island. Yeah. Not graffiti. Oh my goodness. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. Not again. Okay, just make sure you don't touch your mouth after How could you do this? You gotta throw this in the trash. It's not grass. Oh. Billy, you guys, how long, how long does it take for these things to to uh, uh, De biodegrade? De biodegrade. Well, it takes thousands of years. What it's kind cold. of grass is that? I think it's a styrofoam grass. And Whoa. cigarettes? That's really bad Ugh. for you. When you see trash, how do you, how do you feel? One word of how you feel. Disgusted. When Stop. Stop. That's a good feeling, man. Oh, Stop man. feeling. What's so hard about picking up your own trash? 
So whoever owns that trash, they should probably give you a call and claim it. Mm. You think? Yeah, you know. I think they should. Yeah, if they want to. They're, they're probably lazy to do that too, since they can't let me throw the trash. <laughs> right? Yeah. Leave the place better than it was when you arrived. Leave no trees. Leave it better than when you arrived. Fly. Sorry. All right, guys. Thank you very much. No, no problem. Thank you, sir. One of the main contributors to kidney disease, some of the newest studies are showing, is high fructose corn syrup. This is found in almost every soda and a lot of the sports nutrition drinks. So, sports drinks are good, they can replace a lot of the electrolytes, but you've got to be very, very careful of anything with high fructose corn syrup. Coconut water is an excellent, great alternative. We live in Guam, we're in this great environment, we've got natural coconuts. Coconut water has every electrolyte you need. It's, it's nature's own sports enhancement, sports replacement drink. If you're out exercising a lot, sweating, working out, coconut water is the answer. It's antiviral, antibacterial, it will replace calcium, magnesium, potassium. Absolutely the best choice if you're here in Guam working out. It's important to properly hydrate yourself during any activity. And yes, there are many sports drinks out there hoping to impress you with their hydrating qualities. But before you decide to guzzle down that sports drink to fill your veins, one must ask himself how impressive is this sports drink for my body? The answer? Usually sports drinks are loaded with all sorts of man-made junk. And that's not impressive at all. I don't want to say this. Coconut juice has no food coloring, no synthetic sugars, no preservatives, and there's nothing man-made about it. Coconuts are perfectly designed for you. Coconut juice will destroy any sports drink out there. And it's earth-friendly too. Tell us what you guys are doing today. Today we are doing parkour. We are enjoying the great outdoors with friends. Doing parkour out in the public. What are some things you're careful not to do? Don't disrespect the environment around us and we don't disfigure any of the buildings or whatever nature has already grown into, we don't destroy it. Leave the place better than when you arrived. Even Guam if it PK. wasn't your trash, yes. just pick it up. There's not very many places on Guam to do all this, so like, what would be a dream for you guys here in uh, Guam's community? It Go ahead, Jamie. It would be awesome if they were to build us uh, our own little park so that we have our own little home to come over into one great big place and we can all train together it'll take kids off the malls jumping off buildings jumping off cars whatever they may be doing and i'm um, just putting it in one little hub without getting in trouble mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's getting... why we need a part so now you would know what parkour is if it happened in front of your face of course if Paco happened in front of my face, I would know it. Oh, yes, yes. I know, that was uh, Paco, he just did in front of my face. Yes. I know this time. Last time I didn't <laughs> know about the Paco, but this time I know. Many thanks to the Guam Paco Association for letting us invade your lives today. And to Zeus Masi Guam for watching us here on Fit Guam. I like to say goodbye to our audience in French, if that's okay with you. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye to you in French. Au revoir. That is goodbye in French. Okay, this time, I want you to catch me, Paco style, okay? Thank you, Arit. Bye-bye.
splendid. Huff day, Fit Guamers. We couldn't put everything into one episode. Deleted scenes, behind the scenes, fail scenes, whatever. So to catch all the extras, just go to fitguam.com. Thank you.